Welcome to The Scent of Beauty. My name is Susan. And today I want to talk about merit or morals. And this morning I was thinking about resolution. We're coming to the end of 2019 and I don't have a New Year's resolution. I don't desire to make a New Year's resolution. This is where I would usually start to panic. All my desires, dreams, hopes, and aspiration was hinging on the next year. The aggressive pursuit of wanting to do the right thing. That was always the ultimate goal, the hope to do the right thing. And next year would offer the way to obtain the right thing. Next year would offer the solution, the suffering, the pain, the despair that we start to wind down with as the year comes to an end, the hope would be in the next year, all of those suffering, all of those things that I mentioned will magically, would magically disappear, just go away. So I want to talk about the right thing. What is it that you are seeking, that you are hoping for in the next year or even today that you consider that right thing. If that occurs, all will be well. Is it money? Is it love? Is it a new home, a new car? We all have to look individually at ourselves to find out what is that right thing. The Jeopardy question, how many in the pursuit of good things, hence good intention, have come to realize that the merit, that badge of merit that we so easily pin on ourselves or allow others to pin on us with good intention have become a, an issue that an issue that we want to wipe away with merry sentiments that we have for the new year. Sentiments mixed with magical thinking. How many of us have learned that, you know, whether it's the new year or the yesteryears, that that good intention doesn't bring peace or the gift that we are so seeking, the right, the right thing. So if I'm wearing the merit badge, right, that means that I'm looking for others to be the Boy Scout. And when I say that, that's not a gender um issue. When I say uh, Boy Scout, it's not geared to gender. It's geared to performance. We reflect, we show our merit badge. Look at my merit, <laughs> my merit badge. I'm wearing it. The reflection I see when I look at myself through merit that's, again, based on intention because the ultimate goal is finding that right thing that will make us psychologically happy, that will give us that peace of mind. You see, is it merit or morals psychologically? Is it peace or pain? Is it bravery or is it bravado? I find that with merit badge, when it's in its rigidity, 
it is a form of bullying, um, binding others to us or, or others binding us to them in a bully, in a bullying manner, all for the sake of seeking that right thing. What is individual morals and intent? And the reason, again, I, I believe I said this initially, it really does boil down to me questioning myself. You know, my reason for making, uh, for creating Scent of Beauty is for us individually to start questioning, inventorying, our psyche, our psyche, our internal world, our unconscious world, that this is a way of shining some light in the midst of these, these areas where I had to, and I suggest that we ask ourselves, what am I cooking up? The conjurings. Many times we conjure up ideas of how to get the right thing in our world, in our lives. And I'm not going to say it's not a valid need or a necessity. It's just the way that so often the path that we take, uh, we take it without having the light, the clear pathway and so we rely on a year, we rely on, we rely on removing one calendar and placing another calendar in its place as our guiding light. Robert Burns, uh, many in his time, uh, his days, they called him Robbie Burns. They accredit him to writing Auld Lang Syne in 1788, although he didn't really claim it. But one of the things that the first, the first line is, should all acquaintance be forgot and never brought to mind? And my thought is, uh, no, a year doesn't change that. We sing that as the old year is going out and the new year coming in. But my muscle memory doesn't know about a year going in and a year, a year leaving and a year, a new year coming in. My muscle memory, I have an RNA. I talked about that in my last video. You know, we have our DNA. And our RNA is the mail carrier that continually produce the, the proteins in my cells. They remember. And so my RNA is like, no, it can't, I can't forget. I don't have anything new psychologically. If our RNA, if the cells that I have produced or if we have produced, have insecurity, inferior, inferiority, uh, lack these institutionalized belief, beliefs does not get released based on a resolution. We should think about that this year. One of the lines in uh, Old Lang Syne is, should we have the cup of kindness yet for all Lang Syne. And you know, I like that because the cup of kindness is what my psyche needs. I believe that's the beginning of the right thing. That's where for me, the morals come in, gets introduced to my psyche. What about, you know, what about gaining that the, and developing self-respect. So often we forget about respect to uphold our merit badge that, again, we either pin it on ourselves or allow another person to pin these badges on us.
trying to be the bigger person or for those that suffer from low self-esteem, the smaller person, the kindness to our psyche, to our being, the right thing is to know that we are human beings. That's what these merit badges that we put on ourselves, that's what it fights against, that truth. We are not exempt to the need to having, uh, we're not exempt from having the need within us, the innate need for care. The right thing as we seek it, the merit badge that we wear usually merit badges to show perfection, to show this is, look at me, this is who I am. It's almost uh, a persona. But we know if we change our chemical compounds with kindness, with easing the aggress aggression that these aggressive thought patterns that we develop mustering up these merited thoughts. But at the end of the day, at the end of this year and the end of any year, at the beginnings of the years, your scent of beauty, our scent of beauty, excuse me, our scent of beauty, that right thing is you and that right thing that we so seek is ourselves. That is the scent of beauty. Are you brave enough? Am I brave enough? Are we brave enough to let our scent be free, giving it the freedom to breathe? Thank you.